Welcome to this video about sex determination. I want to make the note that this only applies to humans because every system could be different. Um, in humans, it's based on genes. In other systems, it's based on genes, but they have uh, different chromosomes. Well, um, getting back to the, well, about those chromosomes, humans' um, sex is determined by the chromosomes that we have. Of the 46 chromosomes, we have two that are considered uh, X and Y chromosomes, roughly because of their shape. The X chromosome is what we consider the female chromosome, and the Y chromosome is what we consider the male chromosome, because on this chromosome, there are genes that make individuals that turn a uh, developing um, fetus into a male. So females have two copies of this X, and with the two copies of this X, that fetus develops into a female, and males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. And so it's the genes on this Y chromosome that makes it then develop into a male. So let's take a look at the Punnett square for this situation. We are crossing two parents. Uh, the female parent is XX. The male parent is XY. We're not looking at any particular trait on them. We're just trying to figure out, uh, we can use the Punnett square to figure out what sex is the offspring will have. So the uh, mother could either give one of her X chromosomes, or she can give her other X chromosome. The male is either going to give his X chromosome or his Y chromosome. So when you complete the Punnett square, there's the X chromosome from the mother, there's the X chromosome from the father, same down here, X chromosome from the mother, X chromosome from the father. Over here, there will be the X chromosome from the mother, the Y chromosome from the father, X chromosome from the mother, Y chromosome from the father. So, uh, the first thing to do is list the genotypes. We can have either an XX or an XY. The XX is 50% of the time, so for any pregnancy, there's a 50% chance of having a daughter, a 50% chance of having a son. And the interesting thing, the question that you, you may notice here is, which parent is responsible for determining the sex of the offspring? So look closely at the Punnett square and see if you can figure out, look at the two alleles that the mother can give, and look at the two alleles that the father gives. Which parent is really going to determine what the child inherits, and that would, what, would be what determines what sex the child has? Have you figured out the answer? We'll talk about this one in class. You may not think it's possible to have the baby that you want because the baby's gender cannot be selected. However, with Plan My Baby, you will have a better than average chance of having the boy or girl you've always desired. There's nothing wrong with wanting the boy or girl of your dreams. If you already have a boy or girl and want to have the opposite gender to complete your family, then this proven method gives you a 94% chance of helping you to select whether or not you have a boy or girl. The Plan My Baby method is safe and has been proven by the babies that were born to the families who tried the method, including the plan's founder. So, if you want to ensure your next baby's gender, the Plan My Baby method can help you conceive the baby of your dreams.